So this piece is um, for the unsung heroes, our fathers. Many times I choose to call mine Bam. When I emerged like a chick breaking out of mother's wings, there were arms ready to receive me. There were hearts prepared to love me. But there was a man tending mommy and me, hovering over our heads like an eagle's wings, calling, marking territory, keeping us off dangerous reach. His eyes were fierce and his jaw set. His chin was chiseled in strong firmness, but his hand held mine in a simple promise to love and to hold and to teach and lead, to be my support and provider of needs, to be my Bami as long as he lives. I remember when I barged into the room at 2 a.m. because I saw Ojuju, teeny tiny feet, pretty rounded eyes. I looked to the ones whose love is true. Mama's arms were ready to pick me, but Papa's arms were the ones who assured me as I rested in the nook of muscle and flesh tainted by sweat, his sweat the one he daily sheds to provide our daily bread. Bami, you are my mirror. You've shown me life in all reflections. You guide my path with your instructions. You gave me Jesus, the right foundation. You taught me worship service, love, the right formation. You tended my wounds and picked me when I've fallen. You said when I'm down, I better start crawling. You got me on my feet and stood behind me. You showed me love and how men should treat me. You didn't just give roof, you gave a covering. You got on your knees, we saw you praying. Now I'm 20 something and adulting. Adulthood has come. I've joined in singing, but you, you shoulder the responsibilities without grumbling. You are the hotspot we keep connecting. While we were eating Papa's purse, he was busy loving us. He would empty himself to pour out into us. And when his purse is empty, he would fend for us. Papa would make sure we are fine, though sometimes he's not. Bami, you have your dreams. But in a heartbeat, you will leave it all for mine to be. When it comes to picking between those projects and me, you see my needs and run to me. You walk hard behind the scenes, providing the means to give our aspirations wings. One, two, three, four. I've lost count of my Christmas clothing but you do not mind repeating a shirt so you can afford school fees. You deserve all the accolades today by all means. But by me, do you get lonely? Amidst your wall of strength, does it get tiring? When you need help, do you tell somebody? Instead of sucking it in, do you share it? We see how you work for this family. 
how you never fail to get on your feet. Many times we forget your needs and assume your feet. Feet to meet every need without the feet. But by me, we see how sometimes you slouch below the weight and then brush it off with just a wave. My father, like many men, failed to share his pain and struggle. Society forced them to be tough, so they enclosed their emotions in a bottle. But we owe our men the duty to teach them to open up and share. For sometimes he also needs someone to allay his fears. Being a father is an opportunity precious like Pell. A chance to make the world a better place through a little boy or girl. And someone once said, inheritance is what you leave for your kids, but legacy is what you leave in your kids. So to my father, who took his time to build the right legacy in me and all similar dads out there, happy Father's Day.